D-PIN. I want to talk about the D-PIN narrative that is actually starting to take hold of crypto at the moment. We've seen uh, some significant growth in the sort of physical infrastructure um, realm of crypto, particularly, uh, obviously, Helium is one of the biggest names in that space as of right now, Filecoin's another. Uh, and I want to take a look at how this narrative can shape the market moving forward and draw your attention to a coin that is going to be launching soon that fits this narrative perfectly. Uh, before I get into it though, guys, if you're new here and you don't know what the spreadsheet is, these are the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. In the videos, I showed myself buying these coins. I expected that they were going to make me a ton of cash. And you can see what the prices of these coins were when I uh, recorded my videos and released them. You can also see the highs that all these coins hit in under a year and a half. And these are what your profits would have been if you'd popped $100 into these coins when I released the bids, sat on them for about a year and a half, and then sold them. And if you'd done that for all 26, your total profit would have been over 123 grand, which is not bad. Now, I sold these, but I share the coins that I own on my website, which is copymycrypto.com. So anytime I find a coin that I think is going to make me a lot of money, I jump onto the site, I tell my members about the coin, uh, the profits I think it can have, and the percentage of my cash I'm going to put in. Members can copy along exactly, which means they'll make the exact same profit as me. The nice added bonus there is they don't have to do any work at all. That's why we have thousands of members on the site is because they're making great money in crypto and they're not having to do any work at all. Uh, and if you want to see what they've made, that's on the site. If you want to see what I've said in the past as well, that's on the site. It's all public record on this channel so you can verify it, confirm it. Um, we're in a bull cycle right now. And if you're waiting four months, five months, six months to sort your portfolio out, it's going to be too late. You're going to have missed a lot of the profits. Now is the time to actually start making a move on that. So if you want to check out Copy My Crypto, you should because it's something that could help you with that. So let's talk about DPIN. So this uh, DPIN refers to the decentralized physical infrastructure uh, narrative. Now, uh, or network rather, sorry. So, this is where blockchains and token rewards are used to develop physical infrastructure in the real world across multiple different fields. Some of them are transport, there's energy, there's wireless connectivity, there's storage. All of these uh, are legitimate use cases for blockchain technology. So, like I say, it's a term that connotes uh, projects developing blockchain-based management systems for real-world facilities, whether that's marketplaces for computing power, whether it's real world data, and the DPIN, the DPIN uh, systems incentivize um, users via cryptocurrency rewards. And we've seen a real growth in this area, particularly in the last couple of years. This has been one of the biggest sectors in terms of seeing legitimate projects that are coming up that have a use case. Because we often see within the crypto space projects that do not have an actual use case. Um, so projects like IOTEX, Helium, HiveMap is a, quite a recent one. Natix Network are trying to make real attempts uh, in this sort of deep in area. And it's mature into a really significant sort of sector of crypto. And various centralized platforms utilize the power of sort of community to build uh, resources for millions. So a great example of that is Uber. Uber drivers uh, contribute physical resources like vehicles and services and get paid for these services while the platform makes the services available to a huge user base. The issue, however, is obviously these are all centralized systems. Now, blockchain-based projects are developing solutions and improvements to the, their systems. So projects uh, can offer uh, public service provision and claim and offer uh, flexible higher rewards for these services. So DPIN is trying to shake this system up. Now, um, for DPINs, the blockchain is administrational. It's remittance, it's record keeping. So you don't need the huge centralized service that does that and the additional costs that come with it. Uh, and as an administrational facility, DPINs uh, design a permissionless system for providers and users via the blockchain, which means anyone can provide the required uh, services as long as they have sufficient resources. 
And there are a few different deep in categories, but they're, they're classified into two broad ones. So physical resource networks. So these are location-based decentralized physical resource networks. So providers in the network contribute hardware resources related to connectivity, to mobility, to energy, and similar sectors uh, to, offer the, to offer services. Uh, these resources are location-based and non-fungible in the sense that the services are localized and sometimes fixed to said location. DRNs, however, are networks of fungible digital resource pro uh, providers. So providers contribute resources like computing power, shared bandwidth or storage facilities. And these resources are not set to a location or related to locational data. So it's going to depend very much on the project that you're dealing with because some are, like I said, are very specific in terms of location based. Some are very specific in terms of being, uh, well, not not having a single location. Uh, so the uh, physical infrastructure is uh, the facility that could be anything from a sensor or internet router to a solar panel. You've got middleware, which handles the bulk of connection between the blockchain and the physical infrastructure. So that's quite often like a decentralized Oracle network, uh, which picks up the data from the outside world and communicates it onto the blockchain. And then you've got the blockchain system, which is the data that's gathered by the middleware and it's sent to the blockchain and that's how the records are kept. Now, we have started to see the, the growth of this because A, the scalability is there, the pricing is always better because you have reduced pretty much the necessity for the majority of uh, people that are required in this because it's not a centralized system. Record keeping is a huge administrational cost. You've got middlemen that are always a huge um, additional cost. So deep ins become incredibly cost efficient. So when we take a look at some of the, pro the projects out there, Helium is one of them. Helium is a wireless deep in project. Um, and the HNT token is burnt by users to obtain connectivity services while the mobile token powers the actual project. Uh, 5G hotspot bundle owners uh, provide network coverage and earn the mobile token. So again, that incentivization works. Uh, and you can see Hive Mapper as well. This is like a geospatial uh, project. So this is uh, how it maps uh, locational data. So it's utilizing a sort of dash cam situation. Um, then you've got stuff like mobility. So mobility deep in projects are designing new ways to manage vehicles, collaborate with other vehicle owners and companies, and earn rewards doing so. Demo is one that does that. You've got health uh, variations like health blocks, energy variations like Acreen, storage networks, obviously Filecoin is well known. Uh, then you've got compute networks like NuNet, uh, and bandwidth networks like Theta, right? And we just see, we are starting to see this growth. And this is a narrative that actually makes sense from a blockchain perspective, from a cost efficiency, from both uh, the creator of the project and the, and the sort of I don't know, com company arm of the project. You've got a lot less expenses, so you can offer better prices to your customers and the customers are the ones that benefit as well. So... With that in mind, we're starting to see more deep in projects come into the forefront. There's been some interesting ones, but the one that caught my attention is this one, which is uh, Rainmaker. Uh, the coin is going to be called, well, it's the Coin Network Protocol. So it's powered by AI, secured by Bitcoin, and it's basically AI is distribute, uh, distributed Consensus, Federated, and DPIN is mobilized. So it's accelerating the next gen of Web3 utilizing decentralized AI and a human-powered network. Now, the founders here have a hell of a resume. You've got Boeing, people that work for Boeing. You've got people that work for Lockheed Martin, Disney, Oracle, Coinbase, Overstock. Some of the advisors I'm going to show you as well are people that work for BlackRock. Um, so it's quite the interesting premise. Coin Network Protocol utilizes decentralized AI and scalable Web3 powered infrastructure to transform the distribution of value tied to authentic identity to data and behavior. They've got a focus 
right now. They're going into sports and entertainment. Um, but the network, the app itself has already done pretty damn well. So this coin has yet to launch, but the uh, the Rainmaker app has had 70,000 downloads. It's got 200,000 plus wallets uh, on the coin network now. Uh, there's 150,000 uh, coin network validators. You've also got huge investors for this already. So Cypher Capital is one. Jump is another, uh, which are both very, very well known. Now, um, so this is about us. So their history. So their story started six years ago and they were uh, created Rainmaker to explore a new market sector at the intersection of loyalty rewards and influencer marketing to try and create a new creator economy. Uh, then they launched Rainmaker V1 and V2. This is the launch of the Rainmaker Creator app that rewards users by sharing to social media platforms. So the campaign creation portal and coin network integrations were added. In, for, in Q1 and Q2 of last year, uh, Rainmaker AI and Coin Network Alpha were launched. So this was the launch of the AI generative art feature. Uh, with the ability to mint artwork into NFTs in Rainmaker. Uh, the AI and machine learning tech implementation optimized the proof of influence algorithm. So deployment of coin network with decentralized identity and smart contract functionality came to existence. Then they launched their beta and testnet launch in Q3 and Q4. So this was the public launch of the coin, net, uh, coin network testnet with AI and third party validators. As I said, 150,000 validators with the ability to act as a proxy node validator um, on Rainmaker. And you can obviously use them for staking. And then as of today, so they are going to be launching the coin token and the network mainnet will go live. So public, the public launch of the coin token with full utility of the coin network, including rewards for node validators, uh, full AI powered smart contracts, microservices, uh, fee billing and multi-chain non-custodial liquid staking. Liquid staking is a big growth sector as well, so that's a smart move. Next quarter. So that's not happened yet in terms of the coin launch. I did notice that they've put this up. So coin launch. So ten set. Um, so they're launching on ten set. So there's ninety nine percent vote for Rainmaker to land on ten set. So that uh, coin launch is or the the sort of uh, what's it? Earning mechanism, as in the fundraising sort of arm of Tencent, will go will be happening at the beginning of April, I believe, and then from there, uh, the launch will probably happen soon after. Uh, and then they're going to be pushing for enterprise application and deployment, um, and they're basically gamifying mining. It's a very clever idea. But they're going to have native apps for national sports teams from the NFL, the NBA, the MLB. Uh, so they're going to be gaming and enterprise entertainment partners. So they're uh, looking to for this to go to scale up hugely. And then Q4 of this year, AI decentralized compute will be powered by the Coin Network. So integration of the Coin Network nodes and validate infrastructure with AI systems to provide compute powered by Coin themselves. And the team themselves, like I said, uh, have a pretty damn good resume. You can check them all out on uh, LinkedIn. Uh, you've got JD Seraphine, you've got Benjamin Jerry, Gary, Jerry, Joe Routes, I want to say. Might get that wrong. Ray Parker are the founding team. But then you have a number of uh, very successful advisors, one of whom I believe it was, where is he? Oh, no, this is the uh, the rest of the team, sorry. Uh, and then you've got your advisors from Nolan Bushnell, Spencer K, Lucia Gallardo, uh, and yeah, pretty damn good team. Danish uh, Chowdhury is a BlackRock, uh, works at BlackRock. So across the team, pretty damn good. Uh, as I said, this is one that's coming very, very soon. If you are looking to try and get involved in this, I would be looking at uh, potentially trying to, well, downloading the Rainmaker app. Um, there's an airdrop, well, testnet validator airdrop. So you complete all the quests to qualify. So you can download the app and claim a wallet and go through the processes and you should be able to then get an airdrop for 
the coin token that, as I said, is going live very, very soon. So again, deeper narratives. We're starting to see growth across the board here uh, for this deep in narrative, whether it's wireless technologies, whether it's sort of, I mean, whether it's even foot traffic, you know, some of the deep in uh, protocols are looking at like foot traffic past doors. So you can put your like, so basically you, you put a camera in and it measures the foot traffic going around your area. Like I said, with Hive Mapper, you've got the dash cam. These physical infrastructures, there's a legitimate use case here. So I would not be surprised if the deep in narrative becomes one of the biggest over the course of this year. I think it's one everyone should be paying attention to. Hive Map has already done very, very well in terms of profit. Uh, I would not be surprised if we see uh, Coin Network doing very, very well in terms of profit as well. Um, so guys want to check out. Um, let me know what you guys think about the deep in narrative. Does it interest you? Does it excite you? Um, have you tried um, using the Rainmaker app? Let me know about all these things in the comments down below. Uh, and guys, if you want to make the same profits as me in the next bull cycle, you, or in this bull cycle, you can do. All you have to do is go to copymycrypto.com. That is the site I run where I share with my members the coins that I own. Anytime I find a crypto that I think is going to make a lot of profits, I jump onto my site, I tell my members about the coin, the profits I think it can have, and the percentage of my money I'm going to put in. The members can copy along exactly, which means they're going to make the exact same profits as me. But the nice added bonus there is they don't have to do any work at all. Uh, and if you want to see what they've made, it's on the site. If you want to see what I've said in the past, it's on the site. And it's all on the history of this channel as well. Uh, we're in a bull cycle. If you're, if you're not happy with your portfolio, if you're uncertain about your portfolio, or if you do not have a portfolio, then now is the time to get the ball rolling because if you're waiting six months, you're going to have missed most of the profit that you could have had. Um, so like I said, check out Copy My Crypto because it could very much help you out. And that's it for me, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.